So here she is, Falcon F20 Predator, my rig, 21 season, and I'm pumped about it. I mean, everybody loves their boats, the best boat they've ever ridden in, but I'm really stoked about this boat. Just ask my wife, Abby, she hears about it way too much. Uh, but rigged out, of course, with all the goodies and gadgets. I got the uh, Mercury Pro XS this year, switching it up with a motor, got the power pole blades, and just rock solid. They've been around and you can count on them. And one thing about power pole is customer service means so much these days. And these dudes are, are top, top notch. Uh, hydraulic jack plate, gotta have it on the boat. Uh, absolute must running shallow water. Atlas TH Marine. The back battery compartment. Check this dude out. The side lids flip up and the whole deal flips up. It's actually got a plate that runs across there in the middle. I took it out. I'm going to put a spare prop and customize it, of course. So, working on it. Let me step in the back. Show y'all. I'm running two wired in parallel Militech cranking batteries. And I don't care what kind of batteries you run. If you run five grass, I'm planning on doing some live streaming. I mean, I'm going to need a ton of power. And one battery yes it'll still do it but now i never even have to worry about it ever i run three miller tech trolling batteries on the other side dudes are rock solid weigh about 35 pounds a piece nothing to it they're not outrageously priced like a lot of lithium batteries are these days and i ran them for about a year and a half now and i've yet to kill one and i've put them through the ringer so i'm telling you if you want to make the investment you won't be sorry you did all right, we'll give you the basic rundown. I mean, I could talk to you about live wells. They're sick. Take a peek off in this one. Giant, giant. Got the middle compartment, which I really like having. It's deep, allows me to put a lot of stuff in there. It's got the normal rocker switches, which I love. And this little cockpit area, this is, this is juice. I've got smart craft gauge i've got the rocker switches i've got my jack plate gauge over here and i've got my stereo and i'm running two solix 12s uh, kind of doing my own thing this year with graphs i really like the the humbird even though they didn't want to work with me this year i really like i like the grass i love the lake master side scan is really accurate and then up front i'm running a garmin i'll show you that in a minute but i got the ultimate front of the boat set up i think you can tell me maybe maybe not uh of course we got the sea deck and carpet in the floor of the boat is just a no-no anymore i mean it, it is it is the deal cooler's giant got to plug it in got this cool little compartment to the side to keep some plastics extra stuff in it's nice having that uh, the big area right here, got stereo system, cup holders, got my handles. Abby actually likes the passenger handles the best, I wonder why. Super stick push pole, don't forget that. Shout out, not expensive, must have. When you don't have it and you need it, then you're really in a bind. I have this giant middle compartment, and it's got this cool sliding tray. It goes in here that I, it's a mess right now, but I got extra spools of line, Sharpie, scent, got all that and I can fit a pile. I've actually got plenty of room up here I can't, I'm not even using right now. Small size lure locks go awesome in the side right here. And then I've got all my lure locks right here labeled and extra plastics that I'm actually using to keep over to the side. Legit. TH Marine Tackle Titan. I actually get this fit perfect. I cut it off just about an inch and it fits in there perfect. So everything I need right there, that middle lid. Come over here and look at this side storage compartment. So, major. I thought in my boat before I could fit a lot of rods. I got about 12 setups in here, but I had 35 in here and still had room to put more. Uh, massive rod storage in this boat. Right in front of the console, we got extra storage, extra boxes. I pack a ton of junk. And then right here, lids flip up. You had not seen that. They flip up actually towards the front of the boat. 
which is really cool because I can sit here and access my rods or sit here and access my rods. And right here, same thing, it doesn't flip towards the outside of the boat, it flips up. Keep extra, uh, I got my rain gear in here, got extra plastics, swim baits, whatever. I got tons of storage. Front of the boat, padded deck, and it's so clean up here. That's what I like about it. I gotta keep my stuff clean. I got three units up front. I know, I know, everybody's gonna say, Oh, uh, normal guy can't afford it. That's overdoing it. Back in the day, they just had flashers. I know, I know, I know. But last year, I had this setup with a 360 and my 2D Lake Master, and I got whipped. Certain lakes, you must have this dude right here. Some simulation, though, by the way. I'm not getting that in my front yard. I wish, but I'm not. Got power pole switches right here, neat up underneath, everything right here, and then throwing down the trick step. Gotta have a legit step on and off the boat, and that deal is legit. And to mount my units up front, I've got, and I'm here to tell you, yes, they have issues, they do. They. They have gone way, way overdid it. And I love the fact they overdid it. So customizable on this deal. It is so customizable. I, I got my hydrowave even mounted up here on my graph mount. I can tilt this deal any way I want to get it just right. It goes this way, forward and backwards. And then it gets up and it rotates forward and backwards. And I don't have to take any of these graphs off to get behind it to access any of the cabling. That's huge, because you're always gonna have to get in there and, and mess with something, fix something. They're rigged, they're set up, graph mounts. If you, if you need graph mounts, you're not gonna be disappointed to go that route. Everybody, black rims, black rims. I got black rims on my truck. It's, it's the thing, it's been in for a while. It's kind of over, people have overdid it a little bit. I didn't want to go the Zach Burge route and just go straight chrome. I'm not there yet, I'm not on that big a bag. So, the Mayhem wheels threw in the black and chrome. That's right, they got the black and they got the chrome. Best of both worlds. Awesome. Mossy Oak Elements, check this out. Trailer wrap and then faded into the main wrap, the Carhartt, Mossy Oak Elements. Falcon F20 Predator, six seats. It's my new sports car right here. 